Guru has obviously helped so many learners, but in what order have you taken the certifications and why? And how many certifications in total you, did you have at that time? So I did Solutions Architect Associate, Developer Associate, SysOps Associate, then I did Solutions Architect Professional. And there was only four at the time that was released. So I had four out of four. Then I did DevOps Pro. And then to be honest, the business was crazy and I, I had the four courses. So I had, um, yeah, Solutions Architect, SysOps, Developer, and then SA Pro. And that's when I was like, right, we need to, you know, get some more instructors because I didn't have the time to do DevOps Pro. So my buddy Nick and some other people went and created uh, the DevOps Pro. And then that's when we realized like, well, we need to start scaling this and not just teach the certifications, but actually teach like the different products. So like have a course on DynamoDB or have a course on serverless or, you know, the certifications was a, definitely a driver, but we wanted to be the go-to place for, you know, where you could actually learn, like do deep dives on RDS or whatever. And then, then we also wanted to become cloud agnostic because we always knew that Amazon eventually would create their own online school, probably make it free. So that <laughs> could kill us, but there was no one doing a, a cloud agnostic school. So that's when we started teaching Azure and, and Google as well and basic Linux courses as well. So Red Hat certifications, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, it was all it was all a journey. It was all just about hedging your risks, making sure you weren't too dependent on one particular cloud provider or one particular certification. But to be honest, the majority of our customers, like eighty or ninety percent, were there just for you know the AWS certifications in in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And you might have received so many good reviews from a lot of learners, but any specific like you know experience that is stuck to your mind that this particular you will as a platform or as you yourself are able to help this particular learner? Yeah, there's a couple. One, I was in, there's two like interesting ones. There was a guy who worked in a box factory in Ohio and he, he literally was like stacking cardboard or something. And he went and did our courses and then he ended up becoming a, a CTO for a huge, it was a startup, but it grew to be a huge multi-billion dollar company. And he managed to do all this in like a period of three to four years. He'd gone from, you know, working in this box factory to becoming a CTO of a, a billion dollar startup. And he was a really good guy. I think the thing that stuck out to me most though was um, I was in Washington, DC. I think it was for an, yeah, it was for an AWS summit actually. And, and I was in my hotel room and the cleaner came in and I didn't do the, you know, do not disturb the sign. And she was like apologetic. And then she's like, wait, are you Ryan? I was like, yes. <laughs> and she's like, I'm doing your courses right now. And it turned out she was a IT project manager who wanted to go over from project management into actual, you know, cloud computing. And she was IT project management didn't pay enough. So she was working on weekends as, you know, cleaning hotels. And it was just so weird. Like suddenly the cleaner was like, oh, can we get a selfie together and all this stuff. And I followed up with her a year later, yeah, later. and now she's a yeah cloud solutions architect. I think she's actually at Amazon. I'd have to double check that, but she, I'm pretty sure she went over to Amazon as a cloud solutions architect. Great. So yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, it was a weird, weird experience. I think, and the, some, the most recent weird experience for me is, so I, you know, I have a place in Vermont. I like to go, you know, to Vermont. It's in the green mountains. It's, those that don't know, it's sort of just underneath Montreal. And I like going there because it's very remote and you can go hiking and not see, you know, anyone for hours at a time. And so one day I was hiking there with my brother actually last fall and we're in the middle of nowhere. And just suddenly these guys come out through the forest and like, wait, are you Ryan? <laughs> Start trying to take selfies with me. I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm in the middle of the, <laughs> the green mountains wow. in the woods. And these these guys have just you know, recognized me, so that was a bit yeah. weird as well. Exactly, you changed so many lives, Ryan. You changed so many yeah. lives. I remember I started learning with your platform initially. Like, yeah, I mean, somebody showed to me. I was a VMware instructor that time, and right. then yeah. this time it was like, hey, cloud is becoming good, a new normal, and this guy is doing phenomenal. So that time first, mm -hmm. I learned about a cloud guru, and then I enrolled and started learning that. Yeah, even my 
journey started with your course on Udemy. And as I said, like when I interviewed Amazon, uh, AWS, I had zero AWS knowledge. But during the interview process, they they give you a small assessment, you know, like to to fix a website which is running on AWS. And mm. I've never opened AWS console, so I thought, you know, I'll have to learn AWS to fix it. And that's when I purchased uh, the course on Udemy. Oh, right. That's how my <laughs> learning journey started. Right. Nice. Good. And now. How how you scaled because that is little complicated in tech world. We see initially companies succeed a lot, but then to maintain that success become little complicated. Yeah. So with the immigration business, I was trying to scale it all myself and not focus on doing the visas, which was the thing that I was good at, um, and that was one of the reasons it it collapsed. So when a cloud guru so- suddenly started getting. You know, when we started getting 20, 30, 40 employees, I was like, I said to my brother, I was like, right, I'm just going to focus on the courses. Like, that's what I'm good at. That's what, you know, should be my focus. I can't be a manager. I can't be doing, getting pulled into HR things and meetings and having my time wasted. All I need to do is record. So my brother, you know, ironically, I did the, the degree in accounting and finance. My brother did his degree in software engineering. I ended up doing all the tech technical training and he ended up being the CEO of the company so he did all the business side and all the scaling <laughs> and so we basically s- switched roles but that was he focused on all the s- scaling and he did a phenomenal job and definitely it never would have grown as big as it was uh, without my brother's help so yeah